Today we're going to be reviewing the Acer C720 Chromebook. We're going to be looking at the version with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of solid state memory. But there are versions of the C720 that offer 4GB of RAM and up to 32GB of memory. And there's also a touchscreen version for those who might need it. Now before we look at the C720 in detail, it's essential we talk about what Chromebooks are. On the outside, all Chromebooks look like Windows-powered PCs, but the way they work are vastly different. When Google introduced Chromebooks a few years ago, Google's pitch to the consumer was, why pay for more computer than you actually need? And what they meant by this was that a large percentage of people were using their computer to browse the internet, check emails or watch videos, and very little else. And all these tasks revolved around the internet and Google services like Gmail, YouTube, Google Maps, Google Drive, and Google Docs. So what Chromebooks offered was the ability to browse the web and use all these services through a browser window. There were no programs installed on the device and whatever you needed to do had to be done through the browser. In fact, the whole operating system was just the browser itself. A few years ago, that seemed ridiculous and many of the early Chromebooks were poorly designed. However, Google and Chromebook manufacturers have kept at it and a few years later, Chromebooks like the C720, priced at around $200 in the US, are beginning to seem like products worth buying. However, Chromebooks aren't exactly for everyone. There's still a lot of people who need large, complex programs that are installed on the device itself. Things like Photoshop, Final Cut, or AutoCAD. And for those people, Chromebooks don't make much sense. But for those people who do use their laptop almost all the time to browse the internet, check emails, or watch videos, the Chromebooks are definitely worth looking into. We'll get into the details of some of the things we just spoke about, but before that, let's take a look around the Acer C720. Let's first look at the outside before we open it up. The top cover is made from a semi-gloss plastic and has the Acer and Chrome logos printed on it. The front edge has a system status light and a charge indicator light on the right. The right edge has an SD card slot, a USB port, and a Kensington lock slot. The left edge has a charger port, an HDMI port so you can connect the C720 to a large screen, really helpful for watching YouTube or Netflix videos on a bigger screen, and there's also a 3.5mm headphone jack. The back edge has two screen hinges and what appears to be a ventilation grill. There's also another covered slot that isn't accessible. It's likely this will be used to fit a SIM card for future 3G or 4G models. The bottom cover has four rubber feet at the corners, a large ventilation grill, and two speaker grills. When you open the C720 up, there's the 11.6 inch LED screen with a black bezel around it and the webcam and microphone embedded into the bezel. The keyboard is very well laid out and is relatively quiet and comfortable to type on. The top row has a lot of very useful keys, like a key to full screen the browser window, increase or decrease screen brightness, and volume controls. One very notable omission from the keyboard is the lack of a dedicated caps lock button. Apparently, Acer believes we shouldn't be typing in caps at all. The touchpad is smooth and has the right and left click buttons built in. The first thing people coming from both PC and Mac will notice is how quick this little guy boots up. Flip open the cover and the C720 comes to life in less than 8 seconds. Now everything you do on this Chromebook is linked to a Google account. So you'll need to log into your Google account or create one if you don't already have one. It's pretty much as simple as logging into Gmail. And once you're logged in, what you'll see is a desktop with a clean wallpaper and an app bar on the left hand side of the screen. Now you can customize this app bar with all of your most frequently used apps. None of these apps are really apps in the traditional sense. Clicking on them just opens up the Chrome browser and loads up a web version of the service. There are some offline apps, but we'll get to that in a minute. On the right hand side is the settings bar, which displays the time and lets you change the device's settings, check the battery life, adjust the volume, lock the device temporarily, or even shut down the device. As with booting up, shutting down the device took a little less than 8 seconds, which is pretty impressive. You can turn the device back on by gently tapping on the power button once. The device is equipped with a Haswell generation Intel Celeron processor and since there is so little installed on the device, the browser window opens up very fast and pages load up astonishingly fast as you can see here. 
Now with all Google services like Gmail, YouTube, and Google Docs, the device logs you in automatically to the account you're logged into on the Chromebook. Just pay attention to shut down or lock the device if you have other people who live or work around you, so you don't give them direct access to your email or other information. The Chromebook does give you the option to add as many users as you'd like, and also has the option to let others use your Chromebook as a guest. In either case, it prevents other users from having direct access to your personal info. Additionally, the other users on your Chromebook can't toy with your settings or delete your account. Only the owner can delete or manage accounts. However, there's a funny quirk. Go into your browser settings, delete your browsing history, and it completely signs you out of all Google services. Now you have to manually log into your Google account again in the browser window. This pretty much defeats the purpose of being logged into the Chromebook in the first place. A rather annoying quirk that Google will hopefully fix. The Acer C720 sits very well on your lap or a table and its size and weight make for an extremely portable laptop. The only downside to its compactness is its small screen size, which limits it to being a device for just one person to use. Definitely not a screen for families or couples to watch a movie on. Unless, of course, you connect it to an HDTV using the HDMI output. Full HD videos on YouTube played back very smoothly and the screen quality made it a pleasure to watch. However, the screen does have a rather narrow range of screen viewing angles. The speakers were surprised surprisingly loud and produced good quality sound. We've turned the volume up all the way so you can also hear how it sounds. Netflix and Amazon video playback was also very smooth and trouble-free. And throughout our testing, the Wi-Fi antenna connected smoothly and held a reliable Wi-Fi signal. Battery life on the C720 was extremely impressive. When playing back full HD video from YouTube, the C720 lasted about six and a half hours on a single charge. And Acer's claim of eight and a half hours on a single charge in mixed usage conditions is pretty accurate. Fully charging the device from empty took about two hours. One annoying thing about the C720 was the bulky charger. A lot of new Chromebooks have done away with bulky power bricks and replaced them with a USB charger, and Acer ought to have done the same. The bulky power brick somewhat reduces the device's portability. Over the years, a major issue for people switching to Chromebooks has been the lack of Microsoft Office apps, mostly Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And while Google Docs somewhat fills this gap, it still isn't a good enough replacement. Strangely, Microsoft themselves have somewhat solved this problem. Microsoft offers free online versions of all its popular Office apps. These web apps are surprisingly close to full versions of the Office suite. And what's better is that you can even download these documents once you've created them and attach them to an email just as you would do with an Office document on a Windows PC. And here's another thing I'd be worried about if I were Microsoft CEO. Google has encouraged developers to build offline apps for the Chromebook. And the Chrome App Store now offers a quickly expanding selection of apps that can be used offline. An offline app we installed and tested was Pixlr, built by Autodesk. This photo editing app allows you to edit photos even when offline and save them to an SD card or the Chromebook itself. A lot of the big apps still haven't hit the App Store, but it's a step in the right direction. And this moves Chromebooks closer to competing directly with Macs and PCs. The OS and apps occupy approximately five gigabytes of storage, so onboard storage is in short supply. Google does, however, offer 100 gigabytes of free cloud storage for two years with each new Chromebook. You can also use an SD card or an external hard drive to supplement the onboard storage. Hard drives, SD cards, and their contents are also very easy to manage using the built-in file manager. The C720 is also one of the quietest laptops we've ever tested, and the cooling fan rarely comes on to cool the device. So what do we think about the Acer C720? Well, it's certainly not for everyone, but if you're a person who needs a portable device to surf the web, watch online videos, or 
or do other online tasks, the C720 is a solid option. The C720 is very well designed, performs almost flawlessly, and comes with a very affordable price tag. And in addition to all that, you also get the form factor of a laptop for those who prefer it to that of a tablet. If you own a C720, tell us about your experience with the device. Hope this review was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more reviews. Thanks for watching.